I have both TubeBuddy and vidIQ Pro versions because I couldn't decide which one is better. But in this video, we are going to find the winner. We are going to compare three things. Keyword research tool, SEO feature, search engine optimization, and the pricing. And the links for both TubeBuddy and vidIQ are in the description. Hey guys, I'm Jade. Today's shoutouts goes to Sean Holden. Thank you, Sean, for supporting my channel. And your time is important, so watch this video faster. 1. Keyword Research Tool First, download both TubeBuddy and vidIQ. Then you want to search the keyword on YouTube. Let's say we want to search TubeBuddy versus vidIQ. Then on your right side, you see both vidIQ and TubeBuddy. So according to vidIQ, it says the score is 75 out of 100 due to medium search volume and the very low competition right here. Then vidIQ also shows the top channels for this search term and it also shows some top related opportunities, other keywords right here. So if I click on it, I can see that monthly search volume for TubeBuddy versus vidIQ is over 21,000 and the competition is very low, so overall score is 75 out of 100. And the best part of the vidIQ Pro is that you can see these related keywords and sort them by however you want. For example, I can sort it by the search volume or I can sort it by the competition or overall score. So if I scroll it down, I see a lot of related keywords. And interestingly, I see the vidIQ versus TubeBuddy and the search volume for this keyword is much higher. It's over 77,000 and competition is also very low. So the score is higher, 78 out of 100. Which gives me the idea that I should title my video vidIQ versus TubeBuddy instead of TubeBuddy versus vidIQ. I mean, maybe it won't make any huge difference, but this keyword has 3x search volume than this keyword on YouTube, so I'll definitely go with the higher search volume one. So that's how I can find more keywords with this vidIQ keyword inspector. This is awesome. I mean, I love sorting them by the search volume first because no search volume probably no views. So sort them by the search volume and then I find the low competition with the high scores right here. So these are some good keywords. And then I just click copy to clipboard. Then I add these keywords to my title and description and also the tags. This process takes less than three minutes because I can just simply find it, copy it, and then paste it. Super simple. So that was vidIQ. Let's go into TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy also shows the score on the right side with the search volume. But according to TubeBuddy, the search volume is slow and the competition is high. So overall score is only 17 out of 100. Quite a different scores for the same keyword, right? So when we go to TubeBuddy's Keyword Explorer, let's do the same thing, TubeBuddy versus vidIQ. Now you're seeing 30 out of 100. You might think like, what the heck is wrong with TubeBuddy, right? But the thing is that they have two different scores, weighted and unweighted. So it basically means that the overall, in general, the keyword score is 17 out of 100. But if your channel upload a video for this keyword, based on your data, your channel has higher chance to rank on this keyword. So TubeBuddy gives me weighted score 30 out of 100. So under the weighted score, you'll be able to see how many videos are in the search results. And it says 142K videos. That's a lot. So showing the weighted score and the number of the videos in the search results is a good data. But the major problem with TubeBuddy's Keyword Explorer is that you have to click on every single keyword to see the scores. So on your right, you see the related keywords. So I have to keep track of these keywords and find the high score keywords manually. That means TubeBuddy takes so much more time to do the keyword research than the vidIQ. 
So for the keyword research, Fit IQ wins this round. Because one, the data was more accurate with the specific number for the search volume. Two, this Fit IQ keyword inspector just saves a lot of time doing keyword research. Two, SEO feature. Are you still watching? If you're still watching, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Also, don't forget to check out this video, how I got my first 1000 subscribers in six weeks. So let's check on my latest video. This is the video how long it takes to get monetized on YouTube in 2020. So I started this channel in 2020 and I recently got monetized. So if you're interested in how long it took me to get monetized on YouTube, you should definitely check out this video. I mean, it's an amazing video. <laughs> anyway, so with this video, let's say I want to rank for the keyword make money on YouTube. Then you click on this TubeBuddy button and click on SEO Studio, then type the keyword make money on YouTube, then start. Then this SEO score will go up and I have 89%, not too bad. Okay, what's wrong with my description? Include your target keyword in the first 60 characters of the title. All right, so let's do that. Do you want to make money on YouTube? All right, so I just cleared that. Then I click next. Include your exact target keyword as the first tag. So this one should go way front here. Awesome, I just did that. Okay, click next. This feature is that it just shows your thumbnail inside the other thumbnails on that keyword at the same time, just like this. So you can check and compare if your thumbnail stand out among other thumbnails. Then you can click apply to video and then you're done. So this is one of my favorite feature on TubeBuddy, this SEO studio. And then on your right side, you can also check if you completed all the best practice. So I did all these things. 9 things out of 10 best practices complete. So that's the TubeBuddy SEO tools. Now let's go to vidIQ. So on the right side, as you can see, this is the vidIQ SEO tool. So tag accounts, it says I want to add at least 20 tags, but I guess I don't have 20 tags. So it says four out of five. Tag volume, keywords in the title, I did that. Keywords in description, performance, and let's click on this checklist. Okay, so I do have cards, I have end screen. So I, I need to work on these three things. So just try to do all the nine things on this list. So that's the vidIQ SEO tool. And I think the winner is kind of obvious in this round. For SEO feature, TubeBuddy wins and vidIQ lose. All right, so lastly, let's check out the pricing. So for the vidIQ, the pro starts at $10 per month, but if you do the yearly billing, you can get it at $7.50 per month and three months for free. And right now I'm paying $10 per month for this pro version. And for the TubeBuddy pricing, as you can see, is $9 per month for the pro. So it's a dollar cheaper than vidIQ. And if you do the yearly billing, you get 20% off, which is $7.20 per month. And this is 30 cents cheaper than vidIQ's yearly billing. I mean, it's just a dollar, but that's $12 per year. And the most important part is here. If you see this, get 50% off, have less than 1,000 subscribers. If you have less than 1,000 subscribers, you can click on this and get 50% off. So you can get it at $3.60 per month. So my conclusion, both are great tools, but if you care more about the tags and if you want to save more time on keyword research, I would say go with FitIQ. But if you're like, nah, I can spend more time on keyword research and I care more about SEO and the price, then you go with the TubeBuddy. So which one do you want to use? 
Please let me know in the comment below which one you like to use and please consider using my affiliate link in the description. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate your time and I look forward to see you guys again soon. Bye.